I get this question a lot. How do I make a character that's interesting or the design's cool or whatever? And you know me, I usually draw things like this or this that's not even human, but I'm gonna show you how to do it within the human spectrum because that's how most people draw their characters. So let's begin. Well, first I'm just gonna draw a pose of that could represent the character in its entirety. Something represents his personality. Like, is he a cocky guy? Is he like a, he thinks he's the strongest guy ever? Or something like in that nature. So I'm gonna draw this guy. He's gonna, his arm's gonna be up like this. His hand's gonna kind of be over his face. Like he's disappointed or something. Or his power, he's just doing a pose. Like, you know, those anime poses. Now remember, I draw my character with four fingers because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> I should probably draw it multiple. Yeah, I'll, I'll add another one just just, just because. All right, he thinks he's like some know-it-all. This is that know-it-all personality, as you can tell. So if I'm being completely honest, it's also like a big contribution to a character, a unique character is the art style. Obviously to make a different character or a unique one, you have to make something different that's more outlandish something that's like like take Meliodas for example no one has like a short character for a main character look at Tariko no one has just a straight buff guy with orange clothes and blue hair now since you if, you if you're making like a human based character take your interests for example and apply it to the character's outfit like let's say you're into masks or something draw like a mask on the side of his head that automatically makes him an interesting character or whatnot like things that you're interested in from the outside world you can carry to the art piece as well actually what i really do is i think of like a unique part of the character and i build the whole design off of it like it could be a unique hat or it could be a, a bell it could be some type of weird thing and i base the whole design off of that one spectrum of the character now i'm going to give this character small glasses small tiny glasses to go over his thing i rarely see main characters or anyone with like curlyish hair What, what what clothing should I give him? I should give him a scarf. I don't see much characters with scarves. I think that suits his personality that I've given him with this pose. I don't see much characters with a fanny pack either. So I'm gonna give him like a fanny pack or like one of those things that are just like, you can put things in. Like a little apron, but not the full set. I think. Okay, so we have a character wearing a sweater, some type of poser. He looks like some scholar, but he's smart and whatnot. And yeah, I think you want to start by giving your character unique things that no one's really wearing. It's like, oh, I've never seen someone pull that off. And then you draw it, someone pulling it off. Let's give him, let's give him a, like a tote bag as well. Like he, he likes to carry, he likes to be prepared. That's his issue. Then as more items keep going, the more you draw it, the more like the character comes out playing in your head. He likes to, this guy likes to over prepare. Or like to over, like be ready. So he's gonna have like a tote bag. Dink. He's gonna carry that with him. And then logos help as well. I'm gonna give him like a little H logo. Like it's some designer brand or something. Just like that, we've made a unique character. You've never seen a character look like this, so. I kind of went ahead and started drawing uh, other things you might have, like another bag, like a gym bag underneath. So now he has some sort of gym bag with a zipper. Now he's super overprepared. So now, he, every time he's looking for an item, it'll be comedy, because when he looks for an item, he's gonna start panicking, like, oh, I had that item somewhere, and he's gonna go look for it. 
Another way to draw good character design as well is to draw him in different poses and acting that pose and whatnot. So I'm gonna draw him like startled. Like I had that item somewhere. Where is it? Where he's pulling out his pockets, like back down here, he's pulling out. Like these are his pockets. Like he can't find his item right now. And he's kind of nervous. So he's over prepared and that causes him, which is funny because it causes him to lose all his items. So now we have a over prepared nervous wreck. It's like, oh, I thought I brought it with me on the trip or whatever, you know, or someone asks him for a simple item like a pen and he just can't find it. Let's write a little sentence, something like titch, like something he does when he thinks he's like, smarter than you or how stupid of you you know what i'm saying based this whole personality off of his glasses the small little circle glasses i based this whole character design off these glasses right here in fact i'll put it in his character sheet right here or just put it yeah so this is basically a character sheet at the end of the day i might give him lined pants like those I love pinstripes. You can't see, but he has like dress shoes and loafers underneath. Now let's continue these glasses. Just a quick sketch of him, why not? Maybe even draw a close up of his face right here. Just so I can get a real close up of his personality, you know? You know, every part of the character could be a whole new part of like the character's lore. Let's say, let's give him tiny ears and some people say, oh, he has tiny ears. You know, even the smallest thing could result in like a whole new character chapter or not even a character chapter, a whole new scene of things that can play out. Like, let's say some girls come up and say, oh, you have cute tiny ears or something like that. You know, it could be something like that. Just as simple as that. Like how Rock Lee has bushy brows or, you know, anything that can result. Or, what's his name from Soul Eater? Death the Kid, how his hair's unsymmetrical even though his personality resolves around symmetry. But, uh, yeah. Let's just draw a little bit of his hair like that. Some coming down like that. Let's just, this is just him with a t-shirt on, I suppose. This look is he's given is a look of disgust. We gotta draw the glasses though, I almost forgot. How foolish. The key part to his outfit, the glasses. Sometimes I draw them in, sometimes I won't. Like draw in the... Parts that hold them on your ears. But he's kind of a skinny fella. Let's give him that. I swore it was in my pockets. That's what he's gonna say. Personality can dictate to good character design as well. Or he's gonna be like... I don't know what else he's gonna say. But yeah. That's a that's an easy character design for me. For me, it was easy. Like, just start off with a item that's never been used before. Or you can start off with many things. You know, let's give this character a name. Let's name him something weird like Cut. Now, what Cut is? It's um, Ukrainian for the word uh, angle, and that will have to do with his power. So K U T will be his name. Cut. And yes, it's a weird name, but many anime characters have weird names. His, his won't be the first. I mean, you got cartoon characters with weird names as well. It's not real life. 